We're here, Argos Nautic. Oh, I see Ignacio back there. And I see a new boat. I see a new boat. That's a tiny one. <laughs> Don't run from me, man. You ain't running nowhere. <laughs> Look at Ignacio from Argos Nautic. Hey. How do you like the boats? I like them. I see this little tiny nine footer. What is this? A nine or a ten? That's a nine. Very good. It's a it's a ten? A nine? Nine. nine? Can you show me it real quick? I want to I wanna definitely showcase this little tender. Okay, it's a little nine footer. Sits five. Three on the back, two on the tubes. Has uh, two options on the console. We can have this short console or we have can have the larger console that we use on the 330. On the 330, show me the 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 330. I know we've gone through the 330 before but I definitely want to see this one this is a new one huh this is a new one okay good uh, this is also three people sitting on the back one two in the front plenty of room plenty of power horsepower engine fits on any garage how many people are are how many five. people? Five people can sit on this one. And this is just... These are extra large. If you can see, they're very, very wide for carrying extra load. So actually, we could sit seven people in the boat. It's safe for seven people, but seating capacity is five. Seating, cap seating capacity is five? On six. Six. I see this one here. This looks like a... What is a... a uh, basic, really, really basic 305. Basic 305. It's the same 305 we have been in the market for the last three years. Bad with no options. Simple hyperlock, simple steering wheel, simple clip, simple everything. Good, so that means simple price. Uh, simple, simple price below three thirty thousand. Okay, so actually we have a special for the boat show on twenty five. Twenty five. So, oh we man, thirty horsepower everywhere. Oh, that, <laughs> that's my favorite. My, my favorite guys. I've ridden them. I've ridden them with the Yamaha, but with the Evan Root, it's it's really, really fast and it's torquey. Um, I'm really. I, I I always love coming over here to their booth because they have all the coolest rib boats you can imagine guys check them out Ignacio and this is our premium boat it's the 007 color scheme black carbon tubes silver over paint all the lapel lights Sisma fleets Isada steering wheel fully loaded all the options Oh, that, that's real teak, right? That's real teak, half an inch thick. We have here the Garmin GPS with the depth finder and with the engine interface so we can have all the engine data here at the top. Great. What's the weight on these guys right here? 750. 750 and fuel tank capacity? around 10 gallons. 10 gallons? Cool. What's the warranty look like on the boats, Ignacio? Three years. Three year warranty and you guys bumper can custom customize to any type of yacht, color, yes. all that good stuff. Anything you need. Color of the stitching, color of the upholstery, the stick or being real, being synthetic, C-deck, whatever material you would like for. Especially... Uh, Alright guys, well you have it here. Ignacio from Argos Nautics. Hey, nice I, to see you, I still gotta get wet on one of those. I'm gonna go 100, 100 miles an hour on one of these little guys. <laughs> I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. There's no running for me, ladies. Camera oh shy, ladies. God. What do you mean? The ladies from Argos Nautics. So, how many of these boats have you built already? Oh, like all of them? Yeah, all of them. All of them. Guys, Little words so you guys can have an idea. Um, you see these young ladies, they actually know how to build these boats. 
We gotta attack someone else, guys. We gotta, we gotta attack someone else, guys. The model of all models. The man, the myth, the legend. I came to see the model of all models. The sexiest Jamaican guy. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Hello, Walker everybody. Bay. Hey, bro. Is there a... I think uh, I think we're we're exaggerating with the un, um, number of boats that we have here, huh? Look at this. I, what I want to see is I was promised rod holders. It's coming. Um, it's, coming. It, it's it's not here. No. Let's no. Video. Bang. All right, go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can. We we got Robert here going to show us around some of the sexy boats that we have here. Look at that, guys. Now we can properly showcase all these boats. We're doing this. I'm surprised they got a lot of models here. What do we got here? Generation 360. I like this little co color combination. White and blue is always, you know, money. You don't ever have to worry about them. You buy them and they'll go with anything. I like that. Look at a little GPS. Look at Walker Bay. These are the lighter series. Generation LTE, baby. Maybe the upholstery. The upholstery is looking good. That'll resist a lot of wear and water. All right, guys. Walker Bay, listen. Walker Bay, Walker Bay, Walker Bay. They are thinking outside of the box. And they're trying to make you comfortable. Trust me when I tell you people, the best times you're gonna have on your yacht is gonna be on your tender, okay? Your yacht, your yacht will get you there, but the memories are gonna be made when you hit that coastline, you get on these, look at that, they got some music going on and everything here. Look at this, this is a 450. I like this boat. I really like the layout. I like the fact that they have this area where you can put you know, ice and drinks and Look at that. Nice bimini. Look at them. Put in a little carbon fiber strips and I like it, I like it. A touch of details on this bad boy. Look at this, it's got a jail audio system. Wow. This is the generation 450 carbon with seven, uh, 75 Honda. All right, guys, what do we have here? We have a DL20. It's not a boat, it's a rib boat. Don't disrespect the ribs like that, sir. Guys, look at this, it's got even. Let's start from the back so you guys can check this out. From the back. Um, so you have a ladder here. I guess you can store it away, put it away there. I like that. This boat is brand new. They, they say this is their first boat. Nice little ice box, you know. Put it in there. Another one here. Look at this. When you come off, you're at the sandbar. You want to hose down. I like. Caribe. It's got a little arch. They say the arch is standard. And uh, here's a console. You got some seating here as well. See that? Looks good. Some more storage down here in the bottom. Console has a little windshield. And uh, more storage here as well. Look at this. You get access also to the bottom. You can take that lid off. I'm curious to know what's going on with this. I guess they're using that as some type of, I don't know. We'll find out now. But 
What do you guys think about this DL uh, 20 from Karib? Brand new, first time exhibited here at the show. So, let's look at the 12. I want you guys to see the 12 footer. We'll see the 12 footer real quick. This is also a new model for them. See this one here, this is, I like this, this is nice. Um, more wash downs. Here. Seating area. The console's all new too. So, look at that. All this is new. The lights are now in the front. Remember in Karib, a lot of times you'll have your fuel access in the front. Remember for for weight and the, so the boat doesn't porpoise. If you look at the seat, why it's why it's a little bit forward. That's why they do that. Good little boat. Nice little storage compartment. I think if you're in the 12 uh, foot range for a little tender, definitely should take a look at it. it looks good people at Kariba are doing a good job. I'm glad to see that they're going and bringing bigger boats at the show, so. Bam! How's it going? Armstrong! What's going on, guy? Hey, I need one of these in my life right here. Oh, yeah? Yes. Do I got one? Dude, I got many rib boats. We restore them and we make these, uh, we actually use your product often for the restorations we do on our channel. So we, uh, we build the tubes down here in South Florida and especially like the military law enforcement, they always get these guys. Look at this ladder. Show, show them how that ladder works. Bam. See that? Drop it, drop it so they can see how fast, you know? That is awesome, guys. Bam. So we install these all the time. Armstrong, they're really known for your brackets. I got a Willard that you talked to me about, about a bracket. I'm still working on that, but it's almost there. That's good it's, to hear. It's almost there. Good I'm guys. Still coming along. Good guys here at Armstrong, guys. Don't forget to stop by if you're here at the show. All right, guys, here we got a new boat. I haven't seen this one before. It's the Zar Mini Lux, okay? So, let's see it. I like, I like it, I like, look at this. fit two people maybe even three here um, I wonder I like I like not too crazy different look it's all two it's not like their traditional you know different shape but check it out guys I like the fact that it's as beamy as it is remember the problem in the garages is is uh not the beams, it's the height. Another one here. It's kind of like uh, similar to the high fields. I've not seen those before. We'll see them, they're here next door. Also, we'll see them here, high field. It's at the show. And let's go take a look at that big boy. I think we've been on that one. It's probably a different boat, so we'll get a different layout. Let's take a look at it. Let's look at this Czar 85 SL. 85 SL. Let's start at the back. Powered by Suzuki, guys. I think I'm gonna go Suzuki when I repower. All right. You guys are waiting for that uh, Willard restoration. That that might be what I put on right there, the Suzuki Nader. Um, go ahead, go ahead, people. Hey. All right. So look, we have a a nice little step stepping area back here in the back you can jump on once you jump on I like it I like it wow it's a lot of space very very comfortable let's see what we got back here now to talk about entertaining huh have everybody there sitting having a cocktail oh you want to go ahead and grill something up yeah just pull that up and you know get your drinks from the bottom here wow nice
very, very nice. I think they're onto something here. And if I'm not mistaken, this czar has a head. Dun, 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 dun. He doesn't see me yet. He has no idea. He's not. Ta -da -da! You, you have been attacked, What's sir. What's going on, sir? <laughs> Mike from Navajale. Hey. I didn't expect to see you. Yeah, you know what? I was. I, I'm expecting to see. What? The rib fishing rib that Nova Jolly has. Oh, the seven. I've, I've seen the pictures. Yeah, we. I'm still trying to convince management to bring one of those. But, but you know that that boat originated because of rip fishing down in YouTube, right? You know this, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to be modest or humble or anything, but. Oh, yeah. So, that's, what's up with the Nova Jollies? From, from me? Are you serious? <laughs> nah. Uh, so, what do we got? How's well, we got the, uh, the 38, the twin 350s, and the 30, the twin 200 Yamaha. You know, I've been getting a lot of calls, man, yeah? from people in Europe. They're calling. And they're saying, oh, you know, what do you think about the market in North America? Mm -hmm. I've had that question and I see, you know, once the Italians take over <laughs> and they come down they here, will. trust me, we'll see more of these at the sandbar. People will realize how capable they are. And yes, we had a representative from the factory down yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I am over here. Where are they now? And uh, He is still here. We got to find um, him. We gotta find him, make sure he doesn't end him. up in a bathtub without kidneys in uh, South Beach <laughs> without his Rolex. I'm out of here, Nova Dale. We're looking at here the Achilles 315DX. This is a new model. Um, I'll tell you, one of the things I already saw, I, obviously this is a very light boat, but this is a new model. And look how big this locker is, okay? And it'll hold a three gallon tank. And if you look inside there, there's also you know, a tube that you can go ahead and run the line to, to the back of the engine. This can take up to a 20 horsepower. Probably one of their best selling boats here at Achilles. They got other boats as well here. But I think uh, I'm a big fan of that huge locker. Um, especially when you just want to get up and go and put stuff in there. You don't want to be, you know, dealing with stuff that you can't put away. Nice Hypalon tubes. And Achilles over here representing at the show. Look at this Hypalon, guys. It's extra shiny. Just kidding, people. This is rigid boats. It looks like a rib, rigid inflatable boat, but it's not, okay? It's actually a fiberglass boat that it looks like a tender. It does have a rubber rub rail, okay? So that's nice. But I wanted you guys to check them out because you know what they're here at the show and they're a dinghy and we talk about ribs tenders and dinghies on this channel so we got this one is powered by a little 30 that thing must fly look at this one here this one has a little side console i like that big locker wow nice all right another evan root guys i'm a fan of the evan root uh, e-tex especially on these smaller tenders they're torquey, they're fast. I would say the only thing I don't like about them, only, and it's not a big thing, but if you're idling a long, long time, you might be able to smell a little bit of the engine. And, and it has to be a long time, you know? So, but honestly, I have an E-Tech. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm happy with it. I like to be transparent with you guys so you guys can make an informed decision. But let's look for, I heard there's a diesel engine out here by a company named Ox. So let's look for them real quick. Them guys, I found them. I found them. I found them. What's going on, my man? Dude, they told me that you put an Ox on a brig inflatable is it true absolutely true no you got it diesel powered rib oh my goodness 
where, where, where in the show? Where is it at? Where is it at? I want to see We're it. We're down in the on the seven pier slip seven eighty. Are you do? Are you we doing? We got a seven point three meter ribbon. We're giving diesel powered rides. Are you do? Are you doing sea trials on it? Absolutely. Can we do a ride? You got it. Oh my God. So tell me about this. What is this? What What do you got here? What, which ones are you showing? This is it. 200 this, horsepower diesel outboard. 200? Is that what's on that boat that you're talking about? We have a 150 on the boat out at the slip. And it's a rib boat, right? They you told me it's it. a rib. Rib boat. Built oh by Oh my god! So tell me about this diesel thing because uh, this engine, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how, yeah. how, what it looks like, what it sounds like, how it performs. Okay. Tell me about it. We're going to see it. This is a modern four-stroke diesel engine built into an outboard. It's fully front side serviceable, turbocharged for good takeoff. All the power transmission is by belt. There's no drive shafts, no gears, no nothing. And it's, it all starts right here. So servicing and water pump and all that good stuff. Yeah, look on the front side. Everything is, everything is front side serviceable. So you can service it right from inside the rim. This is your seawater pump driven from the crankshaft. It's not in the lower unit. Fuel filter, seawater strainer, belt and oil filter, all right on the front. Wow. Service, it, service it right from inside the boat. And you got 150s and 200s. We do. 300 coming next year. 300? Yep. All right, so uh, advantages uh, as com compared to, you know, a regular four-stroke engine. Sure. Uh, safety of diesel. No okay. explosions with diesel, right? So if you're on a, if you want to tender on a yacht, you don't have to carry gas. Yep. Let's talk fuel economy. 40% less fuel burn than a comparable gas engine. Wow. Our demo boat's getting six miles per gallon with eight people in it. Any smoke, loud, is no, it nothing. loud? It's it's quiet like a gas engine. It accelerates like a jet ski and uh, no smoke. It's a it's a common rail diesel uh, diesel engine. That's incredible. Yeah. I can't wait to get on the water. We're gonna go. Hey, I'm serious, I'm not playing around. I got a drone and everything. Do you know how to drive a boat? Maybe we'll give you a crack Oh, at come it. on, man. You don't, you don't, you have not watched my channel. Never. I know how to drive a boat. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of question do you ask after monitoring of that? <laughs> diesel guys, we're going to be on a diesel boat soon. <laughs> and you got shockwave over here, guys. Check it out. Just like they talked about over there in the booth. And here you have a boat that has the shockwave system on there. Shockwave S5. You don't really feel it moving, right? You guys out by here? I haven't seen my son on the Maybe they didn't find you. <laughs> hey guys, Danny over here. Look at this, guys. Chalk Masters, hey. Having fun at the boat show. It hasn't stopped. The pin drop, baby. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god, that wasn't here last time. That wasn't here last time. Hey, and uh, I see that you did all these little custom dollies for Walker yes. Bay. Yes, I did. Um, so listen, Danny, if you want, I'll say it. I'll say it just in case. because The pin drop, baby. Guys, if you need chucks on your boat, this is the man. Look how easy that was. T take it off one more time. And, and now put the other one, show, show how it slides. Look at that, guys. Spring loaded, so if you just want to slide it, it clips yeah. right in. Clips in. Or if not, you can lock it up, go all the way out. Where can they go online to get it? Uh, www.tenderchocks.com. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, hey, let's go get me a beer, man. I, I, I need a beer, bro. Let's go get a beer, come on. Let's go get a beer. Who knows how to make the best drink here? I'm, I'm recording, is that cool? Wait, you can record me, I'm all sweaty. You're what? You're what? I'm all sweaty. You're sweaty? You gotta wait till we look crazy. Oh, hold on, hold on. Not so, so play, so play, go ahead, so play, so play, go. Go ahead, go, go. Go ahead. Go. Hey, somebody go get the AC unit. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let me read right back. Hold on. I saw a bunch of ice out there. Let me. I... Danny. Do I? Do I? No, nah, I got to go, man. We got to get our air, bro. Well, listen, we're going to close out the show with this last drink. Last um, drink? Well, the last, thing the, the last drink they're going to see on camera 
They're not gonna see everything else. You can't show them everything. It goes right? blurry after that. <laughs> it gets blurry after that. <laughs> hey, bro. This I can't even put in. My wife, man, I don't want that, man. Worry, bro. I gotta go, bro. I can't even take that drink. My wife's gonna kill me. Danny, thank you, though, though. Thank you, bro. Ah, I'm out of here.